see if this is actually working. This is my first stream on Twitch. So here we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is play some old video games. I'm going to do a playthrough of Rygar, one of my favorites. If you guys like, I have a lot of old video game literature. So things like the official Nintendo's Player's Guide and different things like that that I can uh, reference if you want. Otherwise, I will just kind of casually play through the game, kind of doing this as a hobby, and uh, have some fun, play some old video games, and uh, I'll tell you a little history about what I know. So, here we go. All right. So, you start off as the hero Rygar, and you pretty much can run and jump, and you have what's called a disc armor. That's your weapon that I'm using here to fight these guys. You can jump on guys like Super Mario. It doesn't hurt them, but it stuns them, and you bounce up off them, which is useful in some areas of the game. Not so much in others. Whoop. And this... Ah, I missed it. When you kill enough guys, they drop those little uh, star things. They're called pieces of mind. You pick those up, and you can power your guy up. Oh, and that's the doors in the game. You can walk through different doors to go different places, obviously. And now I'm stuck bouncing on guys. And as you kill people, they will sometimes... There, he drops some of mine. I picked it up. When you pause the game, you can see you have tone and last. The tone, I believe, is what makes your guy, your weapon more powerful. The more enemies you kill, the more tone you get. The last, that thing goes up and you'll start to get more energy containers, kind of like heart containers in Zelda for Zelda people. And then you can fill those up. And that little bar is my mind. I have one right now. When I get more, then you can use these different energy things. So, I'm gonna kill some guys. I just am gonna kill a lot of guys as I go. And try not to get killed myself. Bounce off that guy. Kill some more. I like to get three pieces of mind right away and do what they call power up, which makes your uh, disc armor shoot a little faster and a little bit longer. And along the way, you'll have other doors you can jump into. So, we'll hop in here. These guys are hermits. He gives you little tips and things that happen in the game. So we're going to go to the Grand Mountains to find the entrance to Garlos. They sit up on those pedestals and do their hermity thing. Um, your guy can climb ropes right now. That's about it. You can jump, climb ropes, and crouch. And the enemies just randomly spawn in most places. These guys are more powerful than the little, I call them turtles, I don't know what they really are. But see, they take quite a few hits. There we go. Now, I'm going to use my power up. Power up here. Do you guys hear everything okay? Making sure that uh, this is working alright. You probably lost the sound there, huh? But, uh,. Yeah, so we'll uh, come back on. Oh, hey, there we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, crochet bunners. I'll see you now. Like I said, I'm getting used to this Twitch thing. So, here we go. We'll go again. Now you'll see my armor is a little bit longer. My disc armor, I can shoot it goes a little bit faster, a little more powerful, you can hop along. Um, 
So, I'm hearing we're a little quiet on the audio. I will try and adjust that. We will go a little bit louder on mine, see if that helps. And we'll go a little bit louder there. Hopefully that uh, takes care of some of that. So I'm actually playing this on a emulator, Nestopia. I figured I'd try a few streams on this, play it, see if it's fun and works. And uh, move on to using a capture card. I actually bust out my old NES. And do some of that. So now we just went through. We're in the land of Garlos. Where instead of... I think these are supposed to be those turtle things. I don't know. Or they're just Garlosian guys. So, here we're going to hop along. And if you jump, you can kind of go faster because you can move side to side. Otherwise, you can only go up or down, in a pretty much north, south, east, west directions. But if you're jumping, you can go diagonal. So that's why you'll see guys who speed run and do different things jump a lot more than... Uh, just walk. I'm not to the level of speedrunning this yet. I actually might try it. This is probably one of my favorite old school games. But uh, now I guess there's a little bit of an echo. So we're going to try and uh, fix that real fast. We will drop that down a little bit there. See if that makes a difference. And I will try to talk a little louder if that helps. So there we go. All right. So, I'm going in here to find a grappling weapon. That's the hermit. This is the only... Well, there's one other hermit who gives you stuff, but this one gives you the grappling weapon. Now I can shoot this up, and it will help me climb up and down. You pretty much need it to do anything. So, that is why that's the first thing you go get in Garlos. And you can explore around... Since we're doing a Let's Play and not just speedrunning, I'll show you guys. Uh, there's not much there. I think there's a guy up here? Nope. Never mind. <laughs> a lot of dead ends, but there's a lot of... stuff to explore. And when I was a kid in this game, first came out for NES, I thought it was really cool because it was one of the few NES games that weren't really linear. You could choose how you wanted to play. So like here's a door, you go through and you find it. And it's basically just a little hermit tells you to meet the five Endora gods to acquire special powers. And you could jump down there, you will die. And you can't get to the hermits, but they just give you tips and stuff. This door is pretty much meaningless for the rest of the game, but if you like me and like to explore and see everything, I always thought, well, I gotta go find out what each one has to say to get the full story, so that's what I would do. I almost jumped in the water there. So, now that I have that, I can go back and go on my first uh, quest to free one of the... I don't know if you really free them, or if you just find the Endora gods. Who, uh, who give you the items that help you. Oh, on the backstory of this game, so Ligar is the evil enemy you're trying to defeat. He stole the Door of Peace. And I believe your guy is technically like an ancient warrior that was revived from the dead to uh, save this land. So now we're... We're on our first uh, siege, that land of, well, I guess all the little lands. You can go different places and they'll show you, take you on the way to find the, the different Endoras. And uh, these little guys are kind of annoying. They go back and forth. I'm trying to kill them all just because it's kind of my poor man's way of, uh, oh, grinding. 
so you'll see my, my tone has gone up quite a bit. It's at 56, I think it was at 30s or 20s when I showed before. So. So uh, after a while you get really huge and you can kill like all these guys with one hit. And here's the grappling weapon, so. I'll we'll jump in the storm and see what this hermit has to say. He says, above here in the skies of Ulsa is a floating castle. That floating castle is actually Ligar's castle. That's why I was going to tell you about him. So he's the one who stole the door of peace. And you need to come and restore it. And I think this guy tells you something about that. From here, you can't go on without the grappling weapon. We have the grappling weapon, so we're good. And if we wanted, we could go climb this tower. Let's see, I can show you. Um, there's these little... We get all the way up here and you'll see... It's a pretty giant tower. We'll come back here. Yeah, those guys are pain. That's Lightyear's castle, and uh, this guy will tell us about it. You must meet the five indoors to reach the castle. So, once you meet the indoors, you'll be able to get to that castle from climbing up here. But first, we have to meet them all. So, and... There we go. I got my first uh, new equivalent of a heart container. Um, so, so my last okay went to fifty. So I got uh, another container there. And the enemies will drop those little potions or whatever they are, and they uh, will fill up your energy there. Rygar music going on. But, uh, yeah, so we're hop along. I like to go up on the top of those, just makes those jumps a little safer. I don't know if you're speedrunning it, I don't think you would want to do most of what I'm doing. But hey, it's just kind of an introduction to one of my favorite games, and uh, So, whoops, now we're going into Iruga's Forest. He's the first of the bosses you fight. And, uh, oh, there we go, okay. So that's the other thing, yeah. Those other deals you can use with the mind that attack and assail, and that, uh, oh, what is it, uh, recover, recover. Pretty self-explanatory. It fills up all your health. Um, is this where the secret is? I don't think so. One of these? I don't think it's this one. Maybe it is. There's a little... Yeah, this is. There's a secret here. You can go up. So, this guy will give me all my health back. Take a rest. Regain your strength. So, so that's kind of nice. But, uh, yeah, a little tip. So, hopping along here. These guys, I don't really like to fight because they shoot at you like that. So if you just go off the screen and come back, they disappear. That one I don't mind because he's easy to get back. One thing about the grip, once you have the grappling hook, every time you duck and push the B button to fight, you'll end up using your grappling hook. So a lot of times it's easier just to jump down and do it. We'll talk to this hermit, he'll tell us what's up. 
A monster Riruga lives deep within this forest. So, we'll go find him. And we'll kill him. And we'll... You guys can see what an Endora god looks like in this game. But, uh, there we go. Let's see, I'm totally just cheating those guys. <laughs> Now I'm starting to, yeah, see we're getting stronger, so I'm able to kill these guys with about two hits. Used to take about, we started out I think they take about four or five. I like to get where you can kill these guys real easy. A couple more containers than uh, that Aruga's piece of cake. Otherwise, it's kind of tricky if you don't, I mean, not really, but you'll see. And there's some tricky jumps, I suppose, here. Like, uh... You gotta jump and then fight one of those... Ah, one of those guys. Oh, I'm already here. Um... Well, I guess I got enough mind. I'll fight him and... We'll see. Alright, here we go. Here's the big boss. So... That's what I was saving that mine for. Oh man, I'm gonna have this for this. Ah, I was gonna try to just go for it. Yeah. Well, nice thing about this game, when you die, you get start, you're right back at him. But I'm gonna power up a little bit more. Oh, he's right here. I gotta get a lot better at fighting that guy. There's, I know there's like some trick to uh, dodging his his attack, but uh, I, I want to get my power up back again and get myself a little bit stronger. So I'll just keep fighting these guys for just. A Kill him with one. So if you just go back and forth to this game, these guys just keep spawning usually pretty. And if you don't have them clip off the screen, there we go. Now we're getting. Seems like more calm. Um, so enough for power up. Oh, if I can just get a few energy things, I'll go after him again, then I can take at least another hit. I'll get enough mine to do power up and that'll work too. So. Yeah, so now I'm just like blowing through these guys. So. There we go. Alright. Should we go for it? What do you think? Try and kill a few more. Should we just go take him out? We're getting a lot stronger. So. I don't know the exact numbers what make you beat him real easy. But 
Oh, we got full health. We'll give him a shot. Oh, and then I go get hit by one of these guys. Yeah, we killed me. That's why I hit the stupid, uh... Worm things. Oh, we got another, uh... Deal, that'll help. We get some money. Should be able to take him out. Since I already died once, I'm kind of playing it safe. Could probably just go right at him. I think he needs seven for recover. I think I need one more. Then I will go after him. Or if I get a one of those health potions. And I don't know how the game. Ooh, that that'll be plenty. Those ones actually give you three mind when you get one of those. That's what I should have done. So yeah, now we are definitely. Now we should be able to take it to this guy. And I'm going to do a little more uh, aggressive, too. There, we got him. Yeah. Should have just powered up that first time a little bit. Probably would have taken care of him, no problem. So this here is an indoor uh, And he's got the funky thing on his head. Kind of looks like he's wearing sunglasses, maybe. He's a cool dude with shades. And he gives you a pulley that you must use to cross. Whenever you grab the Endora's thing, they always exit you back to the beginning of where their stage was. So, once you get his, now we can use these little ropes. Yep, see that little click? When it clicks in, you can just slide right across. So, it's kind of how the game goes. They're that's about the only real path they make you do, is you have to get a couple things. You have to get this pulley, and then you have to fight this next boss, which is a giant spider. Sagula, I think is her name. Um, something like that. And then you get a crossbow, and that allows you to shoot these little ropes in certain places. I'll show you here. The hard part is, there you go, when you hear it click and you see him do that, otherwise you're kind of just... You'll think you're hooked on, and you'll just drop in the water and die. So, we hop along here. And... Let's jump up into the den. Now here, whenever you hear this music, it's mayhem. These flying dragon... I don't know what they are. They come at you, dropping their little angry ball things. And, uh, and the game tends to slow down, and that's when I just kind of run and kill as many as you can. I might actually use that recover here, just because I don't want to die and go through it again, because it's kind of a pain. Ah. I'm almost there, that's why I'm kind of, uh... Now we made it through here. So like if we died, we would have started all the way like at the beginning of this music playing part. Now I go in here. If you die, you start by getting at the door last. It's always the last door you went through. So like if you entered Garlos and then 
We're exploring that place and jump in the water. I'll put you back there. So this way it makes it look like you should come down here and go exploring. We should go running all around. It's all kind of a trick actually. You can, but really all you have to do is just keep running straight. Like you never actually go down until you uh, until you go through the the sunset here at the end. I'll show you. And there's these little things. This is gonna need that pulley to do, or you can't do it. See, like there, it's like, oh, I should go down here and explore. It's like, no, I shouldn't, because you'll actually just go in a big circle and have to come back to where you started. So, so you really just keep on running straight. And then once you go through here, now we're in the cool sunset. It's my personal favorite music in the whole game. I don't know why, it just seems happy. Puts me in a good mood. And then you fight the original guys from your homeland at the beginning. I don't know what's up with like the Blood Red River, if that's some... I don't know. Now we're back in the spider's lair. Now is when you want to jump down in the catacombs. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, we got another uh, energy. We'll fill it up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this, this game does suffer from a uh, lag when a lot of enemies get on the screen. So just about, yeah, you can, you can hit those, or you can just dodge them. You have to dodge them either way, but if you hit them, I don't know, seems, that's almost a psychological thing for me. <laughs> it's like, oh, I killed it, now I can jump, even though another one will keep coming and coming, and you don't get anything for actually those, like, those flying guys, they give you quite a bit of tone. It's almost whenever there's a big pit. Except for this one. I was thinking one would come up. That's usually when those fireball guys come out. There we go. Oh! Okay, I made it though. A lot of times I hitch in. So you can kind of see I'm going to go over to the spider. This one's actually one of the easiest bosses to kill. So I probably just jinx myself. So all you really gotta do is come in and duck, and he can't hit you, or she. I think it's supposed to be a female. And if you keep hitting it, whoops. I think you're kind of close. To... Yep, but she'll just go back and forth. And... There we go. Another Endora. He'll give me the crossbow. Now with the crossbow, now you're pretty much free to, you can fight Go after the next Endoras in any order you want. Most people tend to go up here to this Palace of Dragu. That's what this guy will tell me about. He says, you can see the Palace of Dor uh, Doragu above this island. And, coincidentally, that's where we're going next. We'll go fight Doragu. So here you can see the first use of the crossbow. You'll find a tree. And if you get just right, shoots that, and then you can swing across. And the simple deal is the uh, Palace of Dragu. So now we will fight him. Whoa! And, and his is the only um, other world besides Garlos. Oh, and the very end. So yeah, I guess the palace is... Um, have this kind of overhead view. 
as opposed to the side-scrolling platforming. We'll talk to it. There's guys inside Dragoo's Palace. Well done, but you will face more difficult challenges. So, yeah, the hermits give you lots of encouragement. Yeah, sometimes they're annoying. So then... Hearing this music, we always thought it was a uh, like uh, the old Meow Mix commercials, except for uh, defeating Ligar will again return peace to our ghoul. So a lot of time they just state the obvious, I guess, or supposed to explore, tell you more about the story, I guess. And these traits are actually more harder to fight sometimes than some of the bosses. Yeah, looks like meow, 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 meow. I want meow mix, but I'm too depressed. I guess that's what, like, sad cats would say. But, uh, I don't know. We always, <laughs> as kids, we always thought that's what he was saying, or what they were. And I actually don't think I want to go this way. Or do I? Maybe I do. Yeah, I think I did want to go this way. I, I kind of got lost, but, uh, I end up doing the right way, yeah, because here's those guys. Yeah, if you go the other way, you go on a wild goose chase. And I just made the door disappear, but it still lets you in. Your quest is half complete. Fight on. And now we'll fight these guys. So those guys? Um, I forget what they're really called. We always, we always call them the pajama pants guys. I don't know why. Uh, we thought they looked like dude running around in pajama pants. But they are great for just uh, grinding along and leveling up here. This gun, like, there's a spot up here, like if you can see the guy's speed run, I think it's right here actually, where you can just make a bunch of them come and then just keep fighting them. So yeah, you just get a whole bunch of them to come. You don't want those red guys, but the green ones, you get like, so you just keep getting them to come. I'm not doing so good at it. Yeah, so you just keep doing this and you'll get, uh, That's how you're supposed to do it. So you just get a you get one to come. Yep. And just keep getting one to come. That's what the guys do. They go like this. They just keep on. Oh, and don't die. Do I have enough? Oh, I do. Okay, cool. Yeah, those guys, they're actually, if you let them get to you, they'll like, just sort of like, sit right on you. And then they just eat away at you, but uh, I'm obviously not doing this right. So I'm coming from the wrong side. Maybe I'm starting too high. I don't know, I'm only going to try one more time. If I don't get a big bunch here, we'll just... at you, you don't want them to be. Nah, we'll just go kill Drago. Yeah, I see me. Yeah, we'll just go fight him. 
But you can kind of get the idea, like, you go up and down there and they just keep coming, and, like, if you can jump and... That's why I said I'm not ready to speedrun yet at all. Like, you gotta go up and down. And, and it may actually be better on a console. Like I said, I'm playing this on an emulator, just because, uh... Well, trying out the streaming thing. So far, it's fun. I like playing games. I like telling people about games I like to play, so... Hopefully someone enjoys it. Alright. This is Dragoon. And usually he's pretty easy because if you jump like this, it's impossible for him to hit you. And you can keep shooting at him, so... It's going to be quick work of him. And you get the suit of armor for protection. So now, that's actually pretty decent and... believe, well, in theory, you would think it would make it your guy, guy's defense better, and I think it does a little bit. Not dramatically, but I think some of those flying guys, like, used to do... I might totally be wrong, though. <laughs> I was thinking they took two hit points and the armor they only take one, but... But, yeah. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Most of these facts are just from memory... I'm playing. So, there we go. Go across the pony. Now we'll head back up around the back side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's where we came in. But you have to stay on the path. You can't jump up to the green part. I think there's actually like a game genie or a cheat like that that lets you like, jump up there. I don't remember. I didn't uh, have a game genie, but I had some buddies who did. I remember borrowing them and messing around with different games. Probably seems pretty quaint compared to nowadays, where you can find all kinds of cheats and glitches online, you didn't have to like, buy a little hardware. So yeah, now you can see I can kill these guys with like nothing. And they were taking like six to eight hits when you first start out. Oh, we'll go up. I'll show you one thing we can get now. Oh wait, do I have it? No, I don't. I went the wrong way. Well, we'll go there anyways. We'll go fight them. I guess we'll try and fight the tower. Although... Oh, why not? What's he gonna tell me? If you dare approach Garba, found atop this mountain. Yeah, it's the Tower of Garba. Atop this mountain. Ah, and they put me all the way back down here. Maybe we'll go. We'll go the other way. Um, kind of forgot if I go down here, go back to Garlos. Um, we can get a coat of arms, and then if we go on top of this mountain, you can... It's funny, he's a hermit, and then he turns somehow into an Endora, so there's actually six. Because... Because you show him the coat of arms, then he will give you this jar of red potion that will give you all your health back. So... So that's where we did our first quest. We're not going there. We're gonna go down here. And hop over this way. By the angry tree. And now you'll hear that funky music. So now you know if lion guys are coming. We just like to run from <laughs> and jump into every flying guy we see. Oh. There we go. That's actually a short one. I guess it wasn't as bad. Helps that we're powered up quite a bit. If you just kind of run through the game quick and don't kill a lot of guys and have a little... Not much health or not much uh, tone from your weapon, that gets a lot harder. So... 
this land. It's a lot of up and down, but it's actually a pretty short land. So this guy just we need the grappling. He just tells if we get a grappling weapon. And the reason why you do this is you can't just jump down. Your guy will die. Like, your guy can... Oops. He just told me I need the grappling weapon. This is why. Come up here. And I'm going to jump right into the robot. So these robots are kind of... So he's going to tell me. From this point on, you can't go on without a crossbow. So we could have came here, like, immediately after getting the crossbow. These robots are... They are good ways to grind, but they take forever if, you, if you're weak. See, I can get them with two hits. You start off, if you fight these guys, it'll take them a whole bunch, like 20 hits. But, uh, but yeah, once you, those robots are a great way to get... That's why I wanted to come here first before going to that tower, because uh, my guy will just get that much stronger. When you go into that tower that the hermit was talking about, it's basically just filled with like five or six bosses. Fight, fight, fight. Yes. So, I guess he's giving me encouragement. So, we will fight. So, I could grind a little bit if. Well, maybe not here. I thought more robots would come down. There's a couple a couple spots here where lots of robots have come down. And if you're strong and can start killing them with one hit, you can really get your guys strong fast. I think this might be the spot. Yeah, see, there's a lot of robots. They just start coming. So I kind of like them around here till I get to, uh, till I start killing them with one hit. Yeah, if it was really cool guys going around, it'd be, uh, the thing about them is they'll sometimes just appear right on you, like out of nowhere. Are we able to kill him? Okay, there we go. So now we can... Now we're pretty... See, it's kind of like... Oh, you think you're a tough robot? Boom, 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 boom. Well, not you, but the robots. Okay. Yeah, I see it's a... And when you get, so if you do it this way, you get yourself nice and huge. Except for those stupid bully guys. Um, you will have no trouble. Please go down here. Lapis awaits you. All right, let's go see Lapis. Lapis? I don't know. I may be saying it totally wrong. So we'll go along and. Let's see if any robots here fight us. That's it? Oh, that might be it. Now we'll, we'll just uh, go fight the boss. Oh, here's some robots. Fight me! Come on! Oh. I was hoping some more would come down because I think this is kind of your last spot to fight these robots and get the super easy uh, tone. But oh well. Here we go. This guy should be relatively easy since we're as big as we are. Oh. So, he took more hits than I thought, but we got him. Okay, there we go. Oh, great for you, guys. I'll also give you a coat of arms. So he says he'll also give you a coat of arms. I don't know if that's a bad Japanese translation. Because to me, that implies you'll either give me something else or someone else will give you a coat of arms too. To my knowledge, he's the only one. So, so now we'll head back to that tower and then we're just about ready to face Ligar. Alright.
Yeah, yeah, everyone's wanting to see when those guys, like, pop up on the wrong side. So, here we go. Bam. 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 Okay. Now, I will climb this mountain. Seems like a lot of Konami games from the Nintendo area have good music too. Uh, so, you need the grappling hook and you can climb this mountain and check out this guy. Oh, great warrior, you have earned the coat of arms. And then I can grab that. I should have came here earlier and showed you him before. Because if you don't have the coat of arms, he's just a hermit. And he yells at you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's like, you don't have the coat of arms yet. But, uh, from this point on, you can't go on without a crossbow, is all he tells you. So we'll shoot him across. Punch. And you're like, oh yeah, well this is good. It's... And then you're like, what? There's flying guys. They're not supposed to be here. It's not playing the crazy music. But they are here. And I'm just good enough to hit every one of their little white balls. Oh, this is. So this is the Tower of Garba they warned you about. So you'll see here, we'll get in here. You're in like you just climb up and basically you fight a Ruga again, except for he's a snip. But since I'm so huge, I can do quick work of him. And since I have that armor, it only costs me one of my little life deals. And you can just jump over this one, but since we're not speedrunning, just playing, we'll fight him. Just to help power up some more. Let's see. And I actually think you can go back and. I think if I go back here, this guy's back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he totally is. So it's like. You can just do this and. It's like. Just to get yourself huge, too, I suppose. Ah! And, and you can totally miss the thing, because I'm just too intrigued with uh, just fighting him. So, I'll show you. So my tone is 3740. 3751. So he gives you a decent amount of... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. It's not... I never really paid attention too much to it. But, oh, okay, so I guess you get 11 each time? So, yeah, he can, uh, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna kill him with two hits now. Yeah. Yeah, I know, if you get really huge, like, you can basically kill him with, like, one hit. So... Uh, you guys probably get sick of this. There we go. I was just gonna go until I got full health and so now I'm maxed up on uh yeah four thousand that's the most uh last you can get you can get your tone a little more because you can actually get strong enough where you can kill those guys with one hit so now this guy's just like the spider but he's like a little dinosaur he took three hits so now we'll fight the death pig or he's supposed to be like some really bad boss, but when you're this huge, I guess he did take quite a few hits, but we got him. Lay this instrument atop the Tower of Lyle. Last Endora. See? Now we can play the flute. Oh, Shapers. 
I didn't mean to do that, but... <laughs> I guess I used my mind up. I'll get more. But, uh... Yeah, it doesn't do anything unless you're up there. I was gonna play here. But I forgot. It only works on that tower. Okay, you'll see. That's... Now we have all the treasures. Now we are ready to face... Ligar. Liger. I always said Ligar since the game was like Rygar. But his name's actually just spelled just like a regular Liger. It's kind of like Napoleon Dynamite's favorite animal. But I figured. Well, maybe. Maybe I've been saying it wrong my whole life, and this game's actually Rygar. Not Rygar. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Kinda had a little epiphany here while we're playing. Oh, that's kind of a cool glitch there. Um, so, uh, let's see if I can do it again. When you're climbing these, sometimes, oh, yeah, sometimes you can do that, and you you can make your guy float, and he'll just float and crouch, like I don't know, like inch or so off the ground, just. Doesn't really do anything, it just kind of looks funny because you guys like levitating. But... Yeah, so now head on over. There we go. Got it clipped up. Scoot across. Alright. So now you have to go back here. Remember that tower? Floating. Palace. Yeah. So now there's really. You can just chew up these gauges. Although he's still. They're still kind of annoying. You gotta either kill them or. I guess you can kind of run from them if they get behind you and you're on a roll, you can just keep rolling. How we climb. And there I'm actually jumping off his head. And now you will get to see up here until now we'll blow the horn. Now, we can climb up, which is kind of funny, so it's like you climb up here, it's just a door. Apparently the, you had to get up to a super high door and that magically puts you here. Now we're in the floating castle. And this thing is, like you gotta walk all the way around it. <laughs> And the first time you play this, you're all like freaking out because you're like, where's the monsters? There's got to be something here that's going to jump out and kill me. But there isn't. Is Ligar a hermit? Nobody knows. So he's just up on this giant floating castle. Oh, and you can, you can die. You can jump off the edge if you want. That's about the only way you can die on the outside of this castle here. And then you're like, oh, finally, a door. Because, yeah, if you keep going, there's nothing up here. And there is the edge of the castle. So here we go. We'll go in. And once you get in, it's like, oh, now there's monsters, but they're all like shadows. But they're pretty strong, actually. Uh, the street things, I think, are some of the... Oh, and there's Dragu. Remember our old buddy Dragu? Well, it's Shadow Dragu. He doesn't always show up there. 
I'm not sure what actually makes him show up there, but he sometimes does, sometimes doesn't. It's kind of random. And there's a bit of a maze to the castle. So like here you get a couple choices, but it becomes pretty obvious you go the wrong way. And like you go this way, it's like Oh yeah, there is something here. Um, yeah, this guy. So he will he get his stuff that way. So that's kind of cool. There is I forgot about that. There is one uh, reason to go that way if you wanted to go get health and get another medicine. I had a medicine, so. Otherwise, it's pretty much not really a maze. But if you're not powered up, it's actually kind of hard, because these shadow monsters, I mean, we've been trying to power up and do things, and they still don't die from one hit. Ah, they can, when they hit you, sometimes you'll bounce through the walls. palace here. But otherwise, it's mostly grass. I guess they decided to put a little brick floor in for one spot for the pillars. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's getting a little nervous there because if you... You can, uh, sometimes you'll think you're going to clip on with your uh, crossbow, and you'll just, like, fall off the wood. And there's the next, there's another. This one, I think, always appears. That other Drago shadow doesn't always appear. And now, you have to take over from the floating island to... Another little floating island. And here is where we will face Lagar. Alright, let's go. So, we'll use our medicine. And there we go. We destroyed Lagar. The door of peace is opened. And we will have happy music once again. And the little bird flaps his wings. And that's pretty much Ligar. And it'll tell us a little something. Let's see. Um, I mean, we gotta listen to music for a while. I, do, 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 I thought, do I hit start? I thought it would tell us, um, there it goes. Okay, yeah, you gotta push start, sorry. The door of peace was opened and peace did again come to Argul. People regained their smiling faces. The warrior who finished his fight returned to Argus. The warrior of Argus. You are really a true hero. End. So yeah. Well, it's probably uh, enough for now. But uh, appreciate you guys taking the time. Um, a lot of fun. I'll probably try and do this again. If you guys like it. If you don't, I guess don't watch. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Otherwise, uh, till next time, and we'll try a different game or. Maybe another game, or maybe we'll speedrun. Who knows? Let me know what you guys like, and I like to play lots of games. So, we'll see you later.